all right so so this is video two two so in my last video it was kind of like an introduction just to kind of tell y'all what was going on uh, in this video, I want to get into the nitty gritty. So if you're watching this video, my name is Rodney MC Shaky Roussel, and guess where I am? I'm in prison. I'm not in prison right now. Making the video, I made this before I went to prison. And so you're seeing this before I went to prison. Um, the reason I know I'm in prison is because the only way I'll release this video is if I go to prison. Um, in the last video, I'll tell you kind of why. Um, in this video, I want to talk about the psychological aspects of what I am going through right now. Um, and just kind of get into that. Um, you may know me from prison stories and you may, um, have some questions about why this and why that. And I'll go into some of that as we go along with this series. And as we, I'll take y'all, um, definitely on every step of the way, every part of the process, just kind of letting you know what's going on, like from an internal part or an in, external part, whatever. But I want to just talk about something like, okay, so truthfully me, um, I'm unbothered by what the people are saying on social media because um, if you know anything about me, they're saying a lot of stuff on social media because, of course, it hit social media last week sometime. And so a lot of people have something to say, but that part doesn't bother me whatsoever. Uh, the, I guess the part that bothers me is that a foolishly, again, I allow myself to be in contact with the criminal justice system. And I want to kick myself in the behind because of that. Now, people make mistakes, but God dang, Shaky, how many times are you going to make the same mistake? Is what I'm asking right now. I'm very hard on myself right now. Very hard on myself right now. I am, I am literally to the point where I feel like just not, I don't even want to, I don't even want to wake up in the morning. I'm just, I do have people that I could call and people I could talk to at any time about anything. And I just don't want to talk to anybody. Like, I kind of want to, like, I'm kind of alone in this um, because I feel like I'm letting a lot of people down. And so the depression part about this is is huge. The depression part about this is real, real huge. Um, so the best part, the thing I could do, I guess the, 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 the part that's kind of like helpful is that I can kind of prepare. And so um, I have a book list. Um, if y'all want to send me a book or something, I like to read. And um, yeah, it's, it's weighing heavy on my heart. Um, not so much as the shame part, but it's just that I'm letting I'm letting everybody down. I'm letting a lot of people down. That part is so hurtful right now. And it's because of them. And a lot of people didn't know me before this all this stuff transpired you know and so um it's like y'all got to know the new me and not the me that was going on in this that this transpired and it's like i'm so sorry that um i'm putting y'all through this so like i spent probably the last week crying every day And it's not because of the hateful people on social media or anything. It's just because I feel like I'm letting out, y'all. I'm letting out. We built. I have built a people that I call consider family. We call ourselves a nation. And I feel like I let y'all down. I feel like that um, I failed y'all. And it's like I know I could take it. I could go do. I could go do ten years on my head because I'm just like that type of person. But it feels like I'm letting everybody down. And that's what I feel like. And that's the part that hurts the most. I just feel like I'm letting a lot of people down. And um, for that, I'm so sorry. Um, that's the part that brings me into like a depression. That's the part that brings me into like wanting to cry because I'm letting y'all down. And I don't, I never wanted to do that. <sighs> All right, so, um, so yeah. You know, the only thing I can do is uh, continue living right now, do what I'm supposed to do, and uh, pray for the best. I am a God-fearing person. Uh, I believe my, my creator has already forgiven me for anything that I've done. Um, my family has, com 
has stood by me and and said that they were forgiving me and I guess the only forgiveness I ever seek now is from you <sighs> all right so well this I'm gonna end this video right here but I'm so excited to present this journey to you um, if you again if you're watching this I'm in federal prison and um, I made this video before I'm actually redoing it so this is my second time doing this kind of video um, and I think I'm just talking a little bit more from the heart and uh, I have a video which is gonna be part three part four and part whatever um, and just kind of letting y'all see what is going through right now uh, right now they aren't having court in court they're having court because of uh, COVID through Zoom so yeah that's what it is all right so um I love y'all I will keep y'all posted every step of the way and um we're gonna get through this some type of way all right